Isn't that right there a pretty sight? Still a smoking. Good All right. Next, we're gonna put our sausage in a what? In an Amish dish towel. We're gonna put our <laughs> sausage in an Amish dish towel. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Making breakfast sausage in the morning. Here's seven pounds. Let that thaw just enough to break up. Throw it in the grinder. But we need more than that. Open the freezer. Oh okay. yeah, all of those down there. So that's all the stuff on the bottom is from our pigs we raised, right? Correct. From last year? Yes, yeah, we bought yeah. Just this one or we both do of them? All. Both of these? All of it. Okay. Gonna need some lard. Aggie, well, we found some breakfast for tomorrow. Breakfast for tomorrow. Maybe Daddy will take you for a walk tomorrow. He'll yeah. Go, maybe Daddy He'll will go cook on this up in the morning. Tomorrow. Been out of sausage for three weeks. I'm so tired of the store bought sausage. Don't even taste good. So we're going to get some kindling ready, get the smokehouse ready. So after we grind the sausage up tonight, then mix in the spices and then put it in the socks. Right before everything's finished, all I have to do is start the fire, load it up, smoke it all night. Sausage in the morning. It's going to be good stuff. So over here through the firewood pile, I need to find some hickory. I like the flavor of the hickory. There's one right here. And this is one. And there's some more in there. We just dig through and get it. The smoker is ready to go. A little western red cedar on the bottom, just some wood scraps. The light's real easy. Hickory on top, split up, kind of small. That'll get some coals going and then I'll feed it the bigger stuff and choke her down and let her smoke this evening. And here we'll hang all the sausages up this evening from my walking sticks. I was looking for that walking stick right there that I made several years ago and I found it. But I was looking for it in the summer. But we'll come back to here when we get some smoke rolling. Okay, we're going to get this meat cut up into cubes to go through the grinder and we're going to get it weighed. That right there is a good grinder and it's well worth the money. 6.7. 28.5 pounds. You can see the pond. Careful, we got the big knives out. Cut Do not cut yourself. Oh, this knife, because it's going to be whatever you cut is gone. <laughs> it's into the sausage. <laughs> Got the fire started. Go in here, make sure everything's working good. And can you see the smoke? <coughs> there we go. The smoker's smoking. All right, we got all of our spices, our meat. Our other meat, our tub, and we start off with the salt. A good ratio is basically two percent of the weight of the meat is salt. So let's get started. One point five ounces of salt is sprinkle. I right, would my thing said a palm pucket full of sage. So a palm pucket is about that much. Which looks like a lot, but what is this, 24 pounds of meat or so? Mm -hmm. We don't want a real deep sagey flavor. Uh, right there, we'll stop right there for now. The sage and pork just go together. It does. A little bit of ground nutmeg. Pretty stout, so not, not a lot. And a splash. Mm -hmm. And homegrown red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Are they hot hot? Do you remember? Mm, they're cayenne. Because right. one of the main flavors is going to be the hickory smoke, and you can't. That's going on after a while when we put it in a smokehouse. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, my notes don't say anything, so I'm going to say for. We'll start with this much. And it'll either be good or it won't. We'll find out in a minute. All right, so we'll grind all this up through one pass. We'll fry up one little patty, mm -hmm. see what it tastes like, and then we usually grind ours twice, and if we need to add some flavoring, we'll add it on the second pass. Mm -hmm. That took about, what, four, four minutes or so? Yeah. Four or five minutes to get. It's uh, about 24 pounds of sausage for the, this is the first grind. Now we're gonna fry up a patty and see if we need to add anything. I'm a mess, I need a haircut. <laughs> All right, time for the taste test. Get a good look at my face, so to be honest. <laughs> I burnt the bottom. A little bit more sage, a lot more black pepper, a little bit more red pepper flakes, and a little bit more salt. A little bit more of everything. <laughs> Add some more spices. Test number two. Are you ready? Yeah. Is that good? Now, that. Wow. That's perfect. That's we might keep some out and not smoke it. Mm -hmm. mm, that's perfect. All right. Next. We're gonna put our sausage in a what? In an Amish dish towel. We're gonna put our sausage in an Amish dish towel. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Amish dish towels. They're probably not gonna hold as much as that. No, it's all right. Well, we do have that other one. Don't we? Mm -hmm. It is cold still. Yeah, that's good. Okay. This little contraption you buy to put on a 55 gallon drum works really good. But you gotta be careful. You gotta leave it partially open or it'll almost smother on its own. Leave a little bit right there. All right, we'll go get the sausage and hang it up. Here's our sausage in our ham sock. Which we thought we had nine, nine, the number nine was on the bag, but <laughs> nine means one around here. <laughs> but we did have some of these. Ooh, you smell like smoke. That is our Amish dish towel full of sausage okay. going to the smoker. You can kind of see, see the light through there. So it'll let that smoky flavor get it. We'll walk out here and just a hang her up. Bag number two. Now, I ain't saying this is the way to smoke sausage, but it's the way we smoke sausage and it works just fine. It's cold enough. Gotta go check on the smoker. Maggie, gotta go check on the smoker. Let's go check it out. Smoker's good. Put three or four or more pieces of hickory on it. Now I'm hungry. See you in the morning. 
Isn't that right there a pretty sight? Still a smoking. We'll go out here in maybe an hour or so and get the sausage and get it packaged up and it'll be ready. Of course, we'll have to try some. All right, it's time to get the sausage out before it warms up. It got down in the 30s last night. I know it got below freezing, but uh, there it is. It ought to be pretty good. I usually don't do a real long smoke just overnight. Gives it just enough. Amish dish towel smoked sausage. The only reason we did that is because I didn't have enough of those ham socks. And these worked really good. We'll give her a try this morning. Oh, it smells good. It smells amazing. Most of the smoke flavor will be on the outside. So we just take it all out of the socks and then mix it up. We'll try to get that even flavor. The, um, we can wash these and reuse them, baby, next year. Or next time we do sausage. I will wash them and reuse them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we'll just bag it up. Got 20 pounds of smoked sausage, some black eyed peas back there. Makes the coffee cup happy. And action. <laughs> the hickory smoked sausage is delicious. Taste the hickory. What'd you say, baby? It brings forward the sage it quite a bit. It enhances the flavor of the sage. And it, and it sweetens it up. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, it is. really good. Mm. I've been missing it. We've been out for a while. Mm -hmm. That's me grandpa's place. Well, if you watch the video all the way through, we appreciate it. And, um, Stay tuned, we got a few more things coming up and maybe in a week or two we'll do some bacon. Mm -hmm. Time to do some bacon, go wild bacon. And if you like our content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and follow us along on this crazy journey that we're on. We'd that's, love to have you. That's right. You gotta listen to the wife. <laughs> Always. We'll see ya. <laughs>